Hi everyone, it's Jules. These are my inspiration images for today. They are adorable, a cat and a dog. I just thought they were so cute. I don't have very many things to go with them yet, so here I'm looking for things to go with them. And I do end up finding some things pretty quickly. I kind of went with the blue and green theme. There's some yellow there, which I do end up cutting a lot of that yellow off. <laughs> So I hope you are doing well and we had some beautiful fall days here in Minnesota last few days. I think it was 70 some degrees here the other day. Maybe even, was that yesterday it was so warm? Yeah, and it was really windy. I remember that. <laughs> I remember yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I haven't been doing much. I actually obviously been staying home with COVID, but I started another YouTube channel. It's a cooking channel. So I'd love to have you guys check it out and let me know that you're there. Comment or something. I just posted one video, so I don't have, I think I have maybe 15 subscribers. So I'd love to have you guys there as well, especially if you like to cook or like ideas. I really just want to share meal ideas, pretty simple, easy meal ideas. So but the first video I did was a bread, cooking bread, <clears throat> excuse me, that my grandma made. They're like fall or holiday recipes. So there's a pumpkin bread, a cranberry bread, and a poppy seed bread. So it'd be fun for you to check it out. Let me know what you think. And yeah, so this page the middle part I glued down those tabs that I've removed pages from for those that don't know this is an Ohuhu marker book and I've removed about two-thirds of the pages so there's some perforation little spots in the middle that I try and glue down so yeah we haven't I haven't been doing much so I went or I didn't go I been watching reservation dogs both my husband and I really like it. And there was an episode that we watched last night where the two of the women were in a hotel room watching forensic files. And I had to text my friend because that's kind of our joke is that whenever we go to a hotel room, we have to we have to watch forensic files because they usually have I think it's the HLN network and they show like really old episodes. So I thought that was hilarious. But the show is really good. I'd say that and Ted Lasso are probably my top favorites for more of the comedy type comedy with some drama though I'm fussy cutting this out for some reason it was challenging I feel like everything has been challenging my brain lately <laughs> but yeah it was like how why is this not going smoothly you can't really tell because it's sped up here but it took me a a little bit. <laughs> it's almost like I was cutting with the wrong hand with my left hand instead of my right. I wish I would have the energy to like read books during this time at home. I can leave the house now so I think tomorrow I will probably leave the house. I think I can. All that's so confusing, and it cha seems to change all the time. But So how do you guys do Halloween? Do you get trick-or-treaters? Do you hand out candy? Do you have kids that you go trick-or-treating with? If you do, what were, or grandkids, what were their costumes? And then, yeah, do you get trick-or-treaters? We don't have kids that age. Our kids are in their 20s. But we get trick-or-treaters. Not a ton. We got like 42 this year. And we realized I had bought some full-size candy bars at Costco. And then a package of more of the sugary candy, like gummy bears. What's the one that seemed to be really popular? Airheads. And that... So the sugary candy was went way faster than the candy bars. So I made a note that the kids like 
candy, not candy bars. <laughs> And I had even bought a t-shirt that said, hey boo, because I love to say, you do you boo. So I bought a t-shirt that said, hey boo, and it had a, a ghost on it, like boo. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I bought it specifically for this year and I can't even go outside. But I did wear it just around the house. Yeah, both my husband and I are still, he's been, he's about at two weeks now and he's still coughing and, and congested. So it's, it's not fun. And I feel like it's totally different now than it was, I mean, back when it first started and we're vaccinated and stuff. So I don't know if that's helping. So if it's helping, can't imagine what it would be like if we didn't have that. I don't know. I was, when I was laying this cat down, I was confused as to, did I want the cat over here or did I want the dog over here? Because it probably would have looked better if she was on the, although he's surfing, if she was fishing over the water, but <laughs> thinking way too hard about it. I do really like this page. I love the quotes that I pull out. I feel like, you know, my life needs to go up <laughs> in a better direction. So yeah, the first one says, the greatest moment is yet to come. I have about 14 more layouts to do in this book and then she will be complete and I can do a total flip through of it. I have done almost every page in this book here on my channel. And yeah, this next quote is, I can't remember. <laughs> you can completely change your life at any moment. So I liked that, I liked the colors with it. So I really like these blues and greens. I think it's pretty and these animal illustrations are adorable so cute so thanks for watching everybody have a great rest of your day